Blobby picks first. I don't know, mate. So, we, ha I mean, Envious, they are a skilled team. They're a, they're a team with loads of individual skill. This is a map where even if, you know, things break down a little bit from any other perspective, any other facet of Counter-Strike, they can always fall, fall back on that. And they got a lot of experience on this map. So, I, I mean, I, I would be very surprised if Spirit able to get something going, but you never know. We've got the pistol round ru uh, running in right now, and only grenades on Apex. Everybody else is uh, on Kevlar's apart from... Nope, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll have to see whether or not the headshots can be connected with this forward setup which Spirit have. They are giving up long, and it does look like that's where Envious are going, so that could be problematic. Has anyone made a Smells Like Team Spirit joke? If not, then I sincerely apologize. So Davkos holding the angle that, uh, that Get Right was holding a few days ago. Wasn't that fun? Will he be engaged, however? Will, will he be fast? Will he be quick on the trigger finger? Getting a bit itchy there, and Envy, they're just creeping onto the A site. Can he make it getting kills? No! He's going to get headshot immediately but from that range to Glock's not a one tap. Happy. Got a lot of work to do. There's one. Two more to find. He's doing great work here. Running this faction. Three kills for Happy. He's pretty much crushed this round. Yeah, and the bomb's ticking away. The kit is lost somewhere. Don't think they're going to be able to get a kit unless they fashion one out of paper clips. But Sofik, he's going to take down six. So that's a good start. More players to be had, though. And it looks like we'll lose uh, Kenny S as well. Sofik on that kill. Just pushing forwards here alone. Two more frags to find. Can he do this? No. Apex will deny him. And as you mentioned, Happy, he pretty much put them in a very, very, very hard position. Yeah, didn't, didn't look very good at the beginning, <laughs> but uh, he did great work at the end. Oh, man. Nice. Those weren't even like, you know, sw you know swift, precise kills. That was just spam. Just, just spam everywhere. Yeah. Fonsi and BK dancing between the barrels on A like a drunk man on a building site. <laughs> so we have some uh, some weapons being bought. Sotfake has left himself with 17.50 in the bank. He'll have money for AWP on the buy round. Very important on Dust2. Lovely spray there by Apex. Not many of these players with Kevlar for Team Spirit. So this should be a formality for Envy. Kebakin with that close range on long, but he will not be entertained for the time being. Keeping it chill, keeping it cool. Envious move up catwalk. And Kenny, yes, he can do a lot of work from here. It's very hard to do much against catwalk pushes with just these pistols. Waiting for the peak. They know there must be a player somewhere there. Couple grenades, then over they will go. Actually, Demon's gonna take them happy in middle. But uh, I don't think Sardis can do this. He's got three players on coming. Ooh, I was afraid, I was very afraid that we would see some headshots running in there from from uh, the side of Team Spirit, but no. Envy has secured the bomb plant, they should be okay from here on out. Not expecting the second player is Apex, but he's running backwards, which is always good. Facing the right way, Dima left, can he do any more damage? Got some flying scout play, but it's the AK of NBK to finish things off. There is Mr. Happy, he has a lot of facial hair. 2-0 for Envy, another eco coming out from Team Spirit. Envy very, uh, will be very happy with this draw. Very happy with this draw going into uh, the last day of the major qualifier, a team which have uh, somewhat fallen from grace after the highs of Cluj. Oh, so long ago now. Yeah, that that is just, it feels so long ago. That was the first major we cast it, James. That's how long ago it was. Yeah. Now, quick long take coming in from Envious. The aggression on Catwalk will not find too much just yet, but they're actually closing in on Happy. He might make a lot of money here. Or he will die and Apex will kill everyone. He gets flashed and Apex will indeed kill everyone. <laughs> so that works out very well for Happy as he sat there blind, twiddling his thumbs, allowing Apex to do the damage. He'll get a couple kills on Mac 10 though, which is always nice. Extra money for him. And Envious will clean up the third round with ease. There was ease. Ease has been had. So here is Apex just going for a perfect range. Very calm and collected. Tranquil. I've seen a tranquility for Apex. It's time for the buy round, Dan. It's time for the buy round. And Team Spirit have not one, but two AWPs. They are very limited on utility, but it's Dust2. It's not quite your cobble. So uh, they won't be too concerned. They've got the big guns, but they're facing Kenny S. One of the uh, Alpers you would least like to meet down a dark alley with sniper rifle. <laughs> Why down a dark alley? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, you can't see them, so maybe you won't hear anything. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything is... Is probably fine. Is it? 
Maybe it won't be, but Davkos with this angle misses a shot though. Lovely shoulder peeking from NBK, just teasing. Davkos taking colossal damage. He's a sniper rifler though, so not as concerning as if he had an M4 or such. One AWP identified for Envy, but will they expect the second one towards B? Yeah, the peak coming in from Kenny there on middle. Team Spirit playing so incredibly passively though, he's not going to find anything too quickly. Let's see, he goes deeper, and deeper he will go, and a man he will find, but he won't be able to frag him just yet. Kenny will fall back, and actually I think in spotting the players in the configuration they're in, Envy has probably realized the kind of setup they're, they're up against at the moment on the CTs. So they should expect that there is the DAF cost is here. They know that there was an Orpa who was on Catwalk previously. It may, only makes sense for him to be here. So we've got to see those nades. Start to see the Molotovs now, but they can't get the kills. Sertus so got taken down top mid with the uh, MAC-10 of Happy. The flashbacks were perfect, and Envy have kills with no response from Team Spirit. The last two players forced to Scarpa to escape, to run away, to abandon, to defer. Mutiny towards B. Lovely execute from Envy. I mean, uh, they had a, I think it was Apex who dropped into CT spawn. Now nah, find himself in T spawn again. But he dropped in and there was there was no answer from Spirit. They were not ready for that execute. And it's quite cool to see Envious are quite prepared. Ooh. Looks nice, but they're yeah. losing the round. Indeed. It was quite nice to see, oh, he's dead now. It's quite nice to see the performance of a set piece onto the A bomb site because every team that plays this map needs to have that with the Molotovs, and that, we did we did see the Molotovs too. So it's good that Envious feel comfortable going for that as opposed to because essentially when a team plays very very passively, not giving you any picking scenarios, you have to eventually say, well, we have to we have to be able to just run a set piece because in playing passively, they're giving us those a map control, which means we can execute the grenades however we want to and have that advantage, and they won't know which site we're going to. That's that's a sacrifice they make, but they're going to be up against the Eco now. Oh, Certis, Love a good PT-50 headshot, but it is to be short-lived for Certis. Once the T's clear out the long area, make sure no one's close, they should throw that uh, AK on blue or somewhere where it cannot be retrieved. Happy, got to be careful, down to the Glock, but he gets a kill. He should be traded, though he will be traded. Kid Bacon got himself a rifle. They've still got control of um, the A site as well, do Team Spirit. Where do the last three of Envy go? This is a dangerous situation, though if Spirit choose to face, they may make it easier for Envy to clean out the rest of the round. These ranges are not to their advantage. The AK that was picked up has soon been lost by the CT side as well. And now they're splitting one person per site. Life becomes easier for Envy. Yeah, I think they were just holding on to see if there would be greed, if they could capitalize on greed from Team Spirit going for those guns. But this is a great approach. I mean, it's just one guy. It's just uh, good old Sotvik on the bomb sites. Can it still whiff a couple shots though? But uh, ground will be gained. Oh, oh my God! This is now. This is getting scary. One headshot, one deagle headshot can change a lot. Can he? Yes. Oh no! Sotvik picks him up as well. This is a disaster because MBK has a flank to worry about as well. Can he get this kill finally? Why is Sotvik still alive? That is a very <laughs> the burning question right now. How is that even a possibility? The flank's coming in. MBK is going to get shot in the back, and they lose the round. In the back. They lose the round, James. They. They shouldn't. That that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, I could see. I could see the awkwardness. I could feel the awkwardness. I could almost smell the awkwardness. Dan, and that Deagle putting in great work. Sotvik made quite the nuisance of himself. Quite the nuisance indeed. Finally closed down Kenny on the close ranges. But I don't think that's to cause for too much concern for Envy. Also, uh, let's look at the CT money quickly. I mean. You can look at this that round in one of two ways. Envy have lost the round now, but with Team Spirit heading towards max loss bonus, if they win this round, then they may have an easier time of things for the rounds to come, Envy. So losing losing one round, giving Team Spirit one round, not the worst thing in the world. Probably the worst way to give that one round up, but uh, it can have its advantages. Question is if Envy can capitalize on that, especially as Team Spirit are back with two orps. Double or last time they were very passive with it, very very passive, and somewhat of a similar situation here. The the only deviation, oh, is that we're having a push onto upper dark, and also they have a player in mid. So, quite the deviation. Happy must surely have heard the jump. He must know what's going on. He's waiting for. He sees it. There is the flip. Oh no! How does he not get that kill? That's crazy. Happy's going to feel robbed in that scenario. 
And now Envious, they want to take action elsewhere. It's MBK who finds the pick on the A bomb site. It's now open for business. We see the uh, the adjustment from Team Spirit. Quebec and in CT spawn, maybe expecting a drop, but no. It's a clean pick onto the A site, but they've got control of long. There isn't great control of short for Envy just yet. That said, Apex is now back in position. Got grenades as well. Getting into even better positions. And the re-smokes. So this won't be easy for Team Spirit. Will there be a team kill? No. Apex with two kills. Six of us in a forward position, but uh, they're holding things down quite well. Again, Spirit had long, but they don't have a chance to win this round. If they can survive with two players, that would be a bonus. A wipeout would be complete disaster. And again, uh, they're going to be heading towards minimal loss bonus, which is great for Envy. Envy as well, they, they might they might allow them to have this because their money is not very good. So we might see the gentleman's agreement whereby nobody hunts anyone. And indeed, that will be the case. Envious will choose their own economy as opposed to their opponent's economy. And all they have to do really is just play the same rounds next round anyway that they would probably already play. And the kind of two default rounds you would see is the either the A long play, just everybody in A long as an anti eco or anti force buy. Oh, they're, yeah, okay, they're actually going to force up. They had just enough money to force it up completely. So, with those two safe weapons. So, but yeah, that can still work. But we'll see how Envious decides to handle it. Team Spirit, you would expect them to go aggressive somewhere with this setup. Kenny was so close to that kill. Just. A microsecond earlier, and that CT would have gone down with such as life. He'll remain with one kill for the moment, as long as Envy, though, keep racking up the rounds. Doesn't matter who gets the kills. Meaty nades come in, do minimal damage, of course. Team Spirit still with, a, with they've got some utility. They've got a lot of counter flashes. NBK looking to throw a flash they can charge through the door with. So it's just playing close. But he'll be completely blind. But the spray down is real. Almost the third one. Running out of bullets and Apex will finally trade. But that is the advantage Spirit needed. Yeah, job done. That, absolutely. Happy. Oh, I was going to say, it falls onto him really to try to get a good engagement against Dabkos. Dabkos wins that though. Quebec in, in a fantastic position. Eventually traded. Can Kenius do this? Gets legged as well to make his journey here ever more troublesome. Finds the helmet of Dabkos somehow. He knows that there's a player close. Somehow, Sotvik misses the shot, and somehow, Kenny S is still alive, and he can still win this round. He's got to get off the ramp, though, because Dima's on the flank. He can't get into position fast enough. Dima shuts it down. Another round for Spirit. A desperate round. We saw that they were on the edge of their economy, and those two saved weapons certainly helped. Apex and Co. will have no issue buying in this round. That's unfortunate, though. There was a time where uh, you would see CTs standing in the door right in front of that smoke, and it was it's really good for avoiding flashbangs, but also because the, uh, the T's might run through they're coming out of the smoke. They're at a significant disadvantage. So he could have even, he could have had a, an, an even stronger position, but it was good enough. Dima tags through the door. Not a good start for Spirit. No, it's not really in. It's a pretty nice nade there from Davkos. He's going to go for the aggressive peak. Flash over. Peak comes in. And that flash is indicative of a play like this. So it is quite possible that Sixer will be able to even to tell his teammates that there's an opera on the door. And the push there, Certus is being covered, and Davkos is going to throw the forward smoke. Just to, so this is a, a neat little play. It allows Certus, if he has very good timing, to have a a spot where because the T's heard the smoke bloom on the A long house, that doesn't make you think that you're going to get pushed in your flank by a CT. But looks like he's going to give up that position as Envious claim catwalk. Minutes for Envy to play with. Certus, will he go for another fast flank? He's had mixed success, but there's a push through the smoke. The flashbang's perfect. Kebekan taken down immediately. Dafkos, he's on fire. He has no idea. He's being barbecued. Still alive for now. And Envy have not charged through the A site, despite the carnage they have caused. Two tagged players on Spirit. The flashbang coming in once again. Do they know, though, Envy, that Dafkos is on the Goose position? But how does he not get traded with the AWP in this position? There's NBK, but surely there's a frag coming for Envy. No, not just yet. More flashes coming in. He's going to kill his teammate. I'm sure what's going on that. That's not how it's supposed to go. Man advantage, Envy. Things are falling apart. Certus still alive for now, though. Oh man, sir, this is in a very dangerous position. Kill comes in finally. Everybody's so low, so he could have maybe gotten some work in there, but now it rests on Sotvik against three players. Again, heavily tagged, but he's going to be coming in from range, and they have the AWP of Kenny Yes. They've got the bomb on the bomb site. Will they spot him in time? Or will they lose a man first? Very trigger happy to have cost earlier in the rounds.
He's bloodthirsty. He's got yeah. rabies, Dad. He's got rabies. I, I wondered if that would happen just because you, you could see what, by the way he was peeking. It was very unclear to him if everyone had crossed yet. So <laughs> that was that was not fun. And Sophic might he might not win the round, but he could do a lot of damage because they're in an expert. They have to make the frag. They can't fall back. But you got Apex there on your side. Instant headshot, of course. It's the Frenchman. Always headshots. That, of course, did great not to get trade for it. Look, he just jumped yeah. out of the way in the deepest position as possible. And then he's like, uh, he's frothing at the mouth. And he's like, oh my god, I see, I kill. But it's his teammate. <laughs> oh, man. He could have killed Kenny S there as well. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe the jumping inaccuracy saves Kenny S. The landing inaccuracy, rather. Oh, man. Into the next round. Six to two now, the score. Bit of an awkward one. Team Spirit, I mean, they, one of the rounds that they won was with a buy similar, similar to this. They actually did feature more Deagles previously, but this time just five sevens and P250s and the Scouts. Happy looking to open things up towards B. We've got Apex pushing mid as well. Apex probably waiting for a flash from a teammate. There it is. Although the flash hit the door, so it wouldn't have blinded anybody past the doors, I guess. Uh, so we'll have to see now whether Envious want to come in onto the A-bomb site, because they haven't been given any picks just yet. So it's just trying to stay as close as possible for that 5-7 damage, that big damage, that juicy damage. Forced to run away, though. Ooh, that Molotov. Would it be enough to kill Davkos? He's been subjected to the flames already in that position. Some tags coming in there towards short though, and Envy, they still need to run a gauntlet here. Can Dav, because if, if he can keep moving quickly, maybe he can do some more damage, but no. The scout's been taken away. The 5 seconds though, won't get much done either. Envy will not wait. They want to eliminate all these CTs. Kabakan, perhaps he can save an AK, but he's going to have to run far and very far indeed. Or maybe he will hide in plain sight. Yeah, Xbox is kind of a fun position, actually, in a spot like this. He might get a couple kills, but he has good timing. I think he confused where the jumping sound was coming from there. It was a little like he expected Catwalk, but it was not to be. 7-2, to two, Envious storming ahead now. Great lead for them. If you're at home and you speak French, tweet Sixer, omelette du fromage. He was doing an interview earlier, and I was trolling him, and also Kenny. But uh, I was... Why do you have to be French to tweet that? Well, I mean, it helps if you can spell it, is what I'm saying. You what? don't have to be French. So I, did, I did say if you speak French, not if you are French. Anyway, anti-eco time once more. And Envious will be looking to turn Team Spirit into an omelette. Du fromage? Omelette du fromage. That is my favorite kind of omelette. One of my favorite kinds. That is, that's the default. They just add stuff to it and it's great. So formality this one. They spotted all the CTs hanging out. Six of what? 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 Lost that? into space. Hashtag to the stars. No spaceship required. Straight to what's that space station called? Straight to Mir. Mir. Yeah, the recycling. Straight one. to Mir. He was launched from a cannon. That's old school, man. The human cannon. That is insane. I think he hit the ceiling. I think he. I he think he face planted the ceiling. Instantly hit the skybox. Apparently, Team Spirit also have a space program. Five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. <laughs> I do not understand <laughs> what I have just witnessed. That was that was just beautiful. I love I love. Obviously, that's that's a, there's like a bug there. That's like, the that, most insane ragdoll I've ever seen in Counter Strike. Yeah, the same, same. That's so cool. Anyway, both teams back on the bike. Six round lead for Envy. We'll see if Spirit can. Bring their spirit back from that uh, space launch, which they could not abort in time. <laughs> it's just it replaying in my mind. It's amazing. I can't wait to see the gift. Anyway, we have two players, I believe, on the catwalk. Therefore, Team Spirit, Davkos and Kabakin looking for perhaps a timing to get aggressive. Or perhaps, but at the same time, it's so dangerous. The round can be won and lost here. If you lose two players here instantly, the round is probably over. So you do have to manage this with care. And at the same time, Envy is still deciding to spread their wings and take some freedoms in the middle. Liberty will be found. Dima has been eliminated by Apex, and that is going to allow Envious now to go for the split on to B. Through the double doors, Kenny goes. Having a look, not seeing much. Sotfik with a lot to do. Sixer offering himself up. No kills though for the CT side. Three players left completely out of position. Surely this is a save. 
there's no other choice really is that their, their money is so bad again it's kind of like i think team spirit they picked dust to they, they basically like allowed dust to to be picked against uh mouse sports yesterday and i feel like this is one of the maps as well where you don't want to play envious there's a, there's a there's a few maps that i would definitely prefer you know in that position but maybe they just don't feel like they have a deep deep map pool so that's probably what it is you don't want to play the french on dust too man no no you, you really don't. You don't want to play the French on Dust 2. The edge shots are too real. All too real. 9 to 2 will soon be the score for Envy in favor, well, in favor of Envy. Team Spirit once again heading towards max loss bonus. But uh, it hasn't really yielded them much. All the money in the world. They've had multiple rounds of two ops and they've only been good for two rounds. So we see Happy and Apex have more kills combined than Team Spirit do. That's a nice statistic. Nice. Happy and Apex. Team Happy and Apex. But do they have a space program? I bet they don't. Team Spirits now with those save guns will get some more pistols to work with. Try to do something. But we have a fast play into Upper Dark here from Envious. Looking to just get in there straight away. Allowing Kenny S to try to maybe get an easy pick. There's the op opportunity. It is missed, but the information is gained. They spot the player on car, and now it's just a case of clearing out Dima. Very easily done, and that's basically the round. What can you do from this position? Kibakin and Davkos, they've got one flash and a smoke. Got to give, uh, I mean, just, just a small detail for people at home. You see there's a player in front of Apex on his team who's checking the car position, and Apex just making sure he covers his teammates back so they have all the angles covered where they might get shot from on the site. Some small team play there, but very important. You'd often find two players just running around a corner, like we saw uh, Dignitas when they were baited by CLG in the sandwich position on Mirage, and everybody just started facing sandwich and getting shot from Hazed in Shadow. That's an example of uh, the safer way to do things, covering a teammate's back. Always nice to see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's great as well to see an Envious that selects, that's been selecting good strategies. Because, again, one thing that uh, you know, Envious previously were known for in during the period of success that they had is just not really making sound economic choices, but just barreling over teams just with their skill. And because you know the CZ was so strong in the past as well, it helped them when that was uh, a reality. You know, as well as some other factors like Tech9 being so good, teams didn't know how to adjust to that at that point. Envious now we're seeing more considered Envious. Oh. Kenny S knows what's up, but can't actually manage to connect. Oh, the flick was close, but Kenny S will be the one that's tagged by Sotfik. Sotfik, definitely very brave going up against Kenny S in such a way. Yeah, if you live in fear, then you will never succeed. Apex, you appear to be on fire, sir. And now you have all of 6 HP. Two plays in the red already for Envy, so uh, there is opportunity here for Spirit, but they need more than red health. They need nil health. They need nil poids on these uh, NV players. Approaching the short position now. We see the flashbang for Sotfix position as they cross. Four players in the middle area. Sorry, on the short area for NV. Happy lurking as per usual. Oh dear, out of position is Sotfix on the rotation. Heard by the T's, no doubt, from short as well. The Molotov will force Kubekin from his position and he will eventually be finished off. No kills yet for Spirits. Yeah, Dima, oh, Dima comes in, he gets himself a very fast double, but is eventually traded, and the numbers still weigh in the favor of Envious. And there is a sandwich here, a, a French sandwich, but no. Happy, he was the meat of the sandwich, has rebelled against the other players of Team Spirit who were trying to crush him there, and Surge is actually going to get away with the AK, and he'll push around for this. They only have two rounds, and this is an elimination match. Both of these teams has already lost two maps. If Spirit loses this, they, they're eliminated. They go home. So this is going to go for this one. Trying to make the cross. Oh, it can't quite get anything going. Very difficult there. Orp at range. Six are playing with good health by short. But look at this guy go. Dima with like two one taps, basically. Really nice stuff. He's possessed by Scream for, for a moment. Very nice headshots indeed from Team Spirit. But the... French sandwich continues, Dan. Fan of Croc Madame myself. Team Spirit, I think this is at least the fourth round where they've had double AWPs. But again, they've only got two rounds on the boards. 
Sofik going for the play towards the lower tunnel, and uh, no one's... Well, they've got a lot of people there, so I'm sure Envy are holding angles. Sofik, up he comes. Aim punch, though, says no. Nine round lead for Envy, looking likely to be extended. A re-smoke from the CTs, but not really doing anything behind it. Happy, of course. He is one with the smoke. He was born in it. Dima taken down elsewhere. The trade favors Envy. Dav cost late for the flashbang, which is good for him. Envy kicks taken down quickly. Does he have any teammates in to flash for him? No. Happy on the flank. Down goes Certus, leaving Kebacon alone. Of course, in T spawn. This is quite the task. Let's see if he can get some damage in here. As soon as they know where he's coming from, like as soon as the element of surprise is gone, that's a problem. And he'll probably be spotted before he can get out of a choke point as well. So the odds for him to actually win this round are almost nil. They almost just don't exist, I think, to be honest. With two orbs on the floor yeah. from his side, maybe he's just trying to... I think that is be the best play for sure. Recover one for the next round. The last round of the first half. The last opportunity for Team Spirit to get a third round on their CT side. Difficult times for Spirits up against a very strong NV team in comparison. Got to be careful with these angles, uh, Kebacon. If he gets too close to the ledge, then his shadow will show in CT spawn. And that would give his position away. Kenny S wants 16k. Hey, well, he does. Kebacon does manage to save. And uh, the weapons will fly. This going to be bad. They will fly in the spawn. They've got two Tech Nines. Well, we've got Tech Nines all around. They've got so much money, they can have all the pistols. Actually, Happy Solana, he's, he's on a PT-50, James. He should upgrade. He's got 10k in the bank. He should upgrade immediately. It's the last round. Spend all your cash. And indeed, they will. There will be auto snipers. There will be AWPs. Those doors will not be standing there for too much longer. He's <laughs> still trying to peek. Does he know what lies? Kenny on the high on the low ground. Oh, Certus, hello. Pistol strats coming out now. Made his way to T spawn. He's not gonna stop there either. He's not gonna get any frags. He's just charging nothing but W from Team Spirit. Two will fall near T spawn. But now, how does the round develop from here? That's actually so awesome. I think they just boosted Cat and they were like, wait a second, they're all in spawn. That would have been glorious. Sophic's actually in a great position. It's just quite a nasty off angle, actually. As you're coming around that spot as the T play, you're you're looking towards the you know, the short area, the ramp area, so that is a devastating off angle. He could even find guns here in T spawn. So I kinda love this play. Dav Cost will find a frag in dark. Ooh, the guns. Give me those guns. Can he get to the corner fast enough? Looks like he can. But what will who will he prioritize? Spots one, spots two. Oh no! He's run up by it, Stan! Oh, that's awkward. That is that's an awkward way to finish the half. 13 to 2, Envious, very, very dominant. Expected, you you, keep, you play against Envious on Dust 2. That is going to happen. There's that cough that Kenny's had all weekend. Oh, man. At least he's managing to control it during the round because, I mean, that's such a, a violent cough. It's moving your chest everywhere. going to be very hard to, uh, to aim and stay focused in that respect. 13 to 2 for Team Spirit. Man. I mean, for Envy, of course. Pistol time, eventually. Three Kevlars for Spirit so far. Hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, look at that, that's cute. What is that? Do you know what that is? Uh, no. Is that from a... Oh, there's there's some there's some writing as well. There's some, some stories. Maybe some Almost strategy. I think it says like fish. Oh, it says Rush. Of course it says Rush. That must be on the Envy side. I see the word Rush mm. in there. Do you used to watch Powerpuff Girls? Was that one of your? Is that Powerpuff shows? Girl? I don't know. It looks kind of reminds me of one, like the mass, like the massive head and the small body, and it's just kind of looks like kind of looks like one. I don't. I wouldn't know one if I saw one. Really? Yeah. No, it looks like that might be the thing from uh, oh, what's that Wii game? That Splatoon. It looks, it looks like the Splatoon Girl, one of the Splatoon Girls. Anyway, we have Apex with double the kills of Davcost. Time is running out for Dav Cost. The game is live. The pistol round is about to begin. Five Kevlar for Team Spirit. Six so with a high explosive grenade and a diffuse kit. NBK has not bought just yet. What will you do, sir, with your money? Buy some Kevlar. Right then, Spirits. You have very few rounds with which to make a comeback. Starts with the B rush. 
Ooh, that's nice. About 100 damage there. MBK gets tagged straight away. They need to get some frags here. Sixer is in great position, but he can only get one. MBK has fallen as well. This is a great start. Apex, he's running in. He doesn't, he doesn't care. He's not going to wait for his teammate. In fact, I know he has a teammate with him. Apex will actually find himself a quick headshot as Sopic and Kibak in the last man standing. Apex raining in terror from above with that USP. And that is now just Kibak in left against two players running out of bullets in the open. Problems for Kibakin. Still finds himself another kill onto Apex. He somehow is still alive and has found a USP. Happy has two HP as well. This is ridiculous. Two HP versus two HP. Happy has decided to abandon the uh, site completely. Maybe suggesting he's rotating towards a tunnel. Will Kibakin take the bait and make a play towards A? He has no idea where Happy is, but he hasn't collected the bomb either. So he needs to pick that up. 45 seconds, so there's still time for him to make a play towards A. Will he take the bait though? The water has been chummed. Happy is the shark, and Kebacon is taking that bait. Oh, that's that's brilliant, isn't it? And Happy's going to hear the running. He knows. Oh, he's just going to wait above. This is just too good, isn't it, for Happy? It's just too good. That's a smart play from Happy. Yeah. He knew what Kebacon was going to do before Kebacon knew what Kebacon was going to do. 14 to 2. Team Spirit truly outplayed. I think Apex was expecting a fast plant to be coming in there towards default. So, like, I'm going to charge through the doors. They're not expecting this. I'm going to get me some kills. I'm going to get me some kills. Yeah, and he was fitting that choke point for ages and somehow didn't die. So, Envious, they won both pistol rounds now. It's 14 to 2. Two rounds away from elimination potentially here. Our Team Spirit, they go for the Tech Nines and the Armors. The Force Buy. But Happy's in with the first headshot. Kenny S, he wants the piece as well. Oh, 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 oh dear. Happy's had enough of Kenny taking the, the, the stardom, the highlights. It's been an accident, James. It's been a terrible mistake. Sotfik alone with the Deagle, no helmet, and the bomb. No one to spot him crossing past T spawn, so maybe there's opportunity for the bomb to go down at the very least. Six are alone towards B. But uh, Happy's pushing around A, getting aggressive, and that might cause a rotation. Apex in CT spawn now, so maybe Six will have some support that he might need. No flashes for Apex though, so if Six gets into an extended fight, Apex has to come in with his gun and he's doing exactly that. Six with a flash of his own. Sophic stuck behind the box, just shooting wildly, randomly, desperately, Dan. And it to no avail. Here it is. Oh, I've made a mistake. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's okay. 15 to 2. We've got all the nades in the world, as much as can be mustered for Team Spirit, as well as a bunch of pistols. One round away for, from elimination, James, and you've got Tech Nines. Well, you've got all, all manner of pistols. Yeah, one of the worst maps to only have pistols. Kabekan presumably lining up a smoke for Xbox. Normally it's done in a corner of the shadow, but he's using a white dot. Although, his team have already advanced well beyond that, so who knows if he even threw that grenade. Team Spirit, the gauntlet is upon you, and your target is A. Kenny is ready and waiting. He'll be subject to the Molotovs, but he repositions already. That second one, the NIP Molotov in as well. Kenny was a high flash, not on fire just yet. There are players close, though. Dima shut down. There goes Sofik as well. The bomb spotted. Grenade coming in to do more damage. There's NBK. Molotov kill. Apex on the site. Bursting. Take down Kibakan. Got the Tech 9 as well. And that's almost the GG. Running out of bullets is daft cost. Not much you can do there with the CZ. Stuck in a, in a Croc Monsieur or a Croc Madame. You can decide. NV with a very easy dust too. Yep, that's the end of the road for Team Spirit, unfortunately, for them. But Envious, they've been fighting really hard so far and they are going to be facing, they are facing elimination should they lose any match. So it's still a very long and arduous task for Envious to continue and uh, to try to make the top eight to qualify for the major. Hard times ahead. They look like they're in pretty good form. And we'll have to see if we can see Team Spirit popping up in more competitions, but that indeed is the end from them. Yeah, they had to have the coach stand in. Never was a good start, wasn't a good finish either. Thoughts of the desk after the break.